Hi everyone, I just got out of the shower. I had the lovely surprise of broken glasses today by one of my kids, so we're gonna have to go get new glasses. So I just thought I'd do my quick face, going to Walmart face, and um, show you what I'm doing. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer. I'm gonna use this all over my T-zone and eyes today. I don't always use this on my eyes, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Not a major hurry, but this is, this is what I would just call a quick face. I'm using the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation, which I love. Kind of surprised that I am kind of touting a Clinique product. I was a little disenchanted with them the last few years, but I love this foundation. It's a really good neutral tone, and I love this brush. This is the F84 Kabuki from Sigma. <laughs> My kids are in the other room, so if you hear them, they're back there. So this is, like I say, my Walmart face. <laughs> is there such a thing as a Walmart face? If you have kids who are bespectacled, Walmart has great prices on glasses. I think they're $9 frames and $30 lenses. Given that if your kids are like mine, they break them, that's about the right price. So I guess Sigma has a new angled Kabuki. It's kind of like flat I don't I don't have it but I don't know it might be nice I like the uh, flat top kabuki brush so I used about a dime size amount all right so there's that I'm gonna use what am I going to use under my eyes? I think I will use the Boots Number no. 7 Concealer, which I'm afraid may be discontinued at Target. So I looked for it the other day when I was in Arlington. They had a better boot section than where I live, and they didn't seem to have it. So I'm just going to go like this, just sort of tapping in. And that's that. I might use some of this right here also. And use this brush to kind of buff it in. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now I'm just going to use some powder. Um, use this. This is Lancome Dual Finish. I like it because it doesn't break me out, even though it is really fragranced. I don't know why it doesn't bother my skin, but you know, thank God for small favors. I'm going to use the. Um, no, I'm going to use my MAC Puff. Just this, I'm just going to press this in just to basically hold the foundation in place. I mean, literally pressing that in. Okay, and that is done. Next, I'm going to do bronzer real quick. I'm going to use my, what is this, Sigma F05, got a Sigma theme, not intentionally, but okay, so that's just a little bit of contour, it's nothing obvious, which you don't want obvious. So I'm kind of trying to get through this just for the sake of saying I did. This is the Tarte Doll Face. I really like it. This is a Walmart brush. I got this because Redhead PhD said it was good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I really like this color. This is a color that works on everyone. So then I'm going to use the Amber Diamond. I guess, you know, honestly, if I was being completely forthcoming, I don't always use a highlight on days like this, but I saw it and I thought of you. So there's that. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. Illa Masca Brow Cake in Motto, which is a very nice cool tone. Um, and I will use my, what brush am I going to use for that? Sonia Kashuk Brow Brush. This is $5.99 Target, and I highly, highly recommend it. I love it. 
it's as good as a much more expensive brush. Maybe better. And ladies and gents, you need to do your brows. This is a step that I think, if I don't do anything else, this needs to be done. So, and I have a lovely stray that needs tweezing. So I have my Harajuku Lovers Tweezers from Tweezerman there. Go on. Let's see. So there's that. That's brows. Next, I think I'm going to use something I've talked about quite a bit. This is from Inglot. This is something I won in a giveaway from Lipstick Vanessa. If you're not subscribed to her, you should be because she is a sweetheart, really nice person, and has a fun channel with good reviews. I am going to use... I love this brush. This is from um, Coast, uh, not Coastal Scents, what is this? Essence of Beauty from CVS. It's huge. See, look at it's like almost as wide as my thumb. I'm gonna take this um, creamy tan color and just tap it on the lids. I've been using this duo so much. I mean, I think Lipstick Vanessa needs to be like a personal makeup shopper because she picked just the right colors for a green-eyed girl. So there's that. Then I'm going to take this as a Sigma E25. It's the freebie that comes if you spend X amount of money. I forget what it is. And I'm going to take this brown. And I love this brown because it has a hint of red, which really brings out um, green eyes, which, you know, obviously I don't have. But all right. Let me use this mirror. Because yes, I am over 30 and I can't see that far, so. The mirror is about mm, two feet away from me. I only wear glasses for driving at night. Doesn't mean I shouldn't wear them more often. All right, so I'm just putting that in the crease. Kind of overdid it on this side, but I'll just even it out some. All right, now I am going to take this brush. This is actually from an art store. Great place for brushes, by the way. If you like natural bristle brushes, this is a goat hair brush just like the MAC 239. And I got this at um, a long time ago at Michael's for like $4, honest to goodness. And this is nice because it's a, it's a larger size. It's really good. All right. So that's, that's good, I guess. And then I'm going to put some of the brown underneath my lower lash line with a pencil brush, a tiny pencil brush. <laughs> so we are actually thinking about, it's totally off topic, but I feel like I'm talking to my friends. We're thinking about getting the kids Kindles for their schoolwork, for reading, so we don't have so much paper all over the house. And we're starting a new curriculum this year that requires a lot of paper, so I'm liking the idea of it. And if anyone has any advice on that, I'm not thinking about getting, you know, a bunch of Kindle Fires because I have one and although I love it, the battery wears out really fast if you're using it a lot. I know I should turn off the uh, setting for internet, but... This is Feline Eye Coal from MAC. That's just in the waterline. Then I apply it to the upper lash line. Just like that, and then I'm just going to smudge it with that brush. By that brush, I mean the pencil brush I was using before. Yeah. 
So I had one of those mommy nights where <clears throat> at three in the morning, the little mister seemed to be hungry. So I had to take him downstairs and put him in the high chair and give him yogurt. Yes, at three in the morning. I don't think either of us was functioning properly. And I'm probably not today either, but that's okay. Now I'm going to do my mascara, which I just had out. I swear I did. Oh, it's on my lap. And that is the Benefit They're Real, which I'm sure I've told you before I love. Oh, and for the sake of discussion, I am going to spray some Scandinavia setting spray first. My background is silly, isn't it? There's the ab lounge. Yes, it works. It works. You have to have some level of fitness to begin, though. You can't jump on that with no level of fitness at all and expect results. But if you do, it works really, really well. So again, this is Benefit They're Real. Is he okay over there? I love this. And this is pretty standard, yes. The background noise is real when I'm doing my makeup. Getting ready for the day. I actually have my vanity next to a window for lighting purposes, not for the videos, but for actual getting ready purposes. And um, that's really helpful. I think you avoid looking real, I don't know, overdone or something if you have decent lighting. All right, so. That's basically my face of the day. I'm gonna put on some lipstick and call it call it finished. Um, by the way, this is the Dior Addict gloss in 576. I used to, I keep saying it's called Rose Sorry, but when I looked it up last night, it's actually called Pink Sorry. So I apologize all this time. I've been leading you astray. And I am going to use one of these two lipsticks that I haven't used in a long time. One is Shy Girl. One is Snob. And I think I will go for Shy Girl. This is from MAC. It's kind of a nude. <laughs> you can bring him over. It's fine. Just no, bring... Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, Vaughn. Okay. So this is the... This may be my favorite lipstick or um, lip gloss I've ever owned. I love the color. Funny thing because this is, um, oh, there's a tag about this. Maybe I'll do it later. An out of my comfort zone. This is, looks really, really bright and I go, ooh, I don't know about that, but I ended up loving it. And every time I see it on pictures or in film, I think it's wonderful. So yes, I have wet hair. Uh, I'm a mess this morning. Okay, so this is sort of the finished look. So all that with just two shadows, eyeliner and um, mascara. Obviously, I did my brows, too. But that is my Walmart face. I hope you're having a great morning. And um, if you have any requests, let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking with me. And um, thank you to my new subscribers. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.